Home Ministry approved the early release of the 11 men convicted for the gang rape of Bilkis Banu in the 2002 Gujarat riots. The Gujarat government tells the Supreme Court on Monday the convicts were released that they had been in jail for 14 years and their behaviour was found to be good. The Gujarat government's affidavit before the court says. After nine hours of questioning by the CBI ops, Manisa Sodia alleges that he was pressurized to quit the party. He says he was asked to quit the AAP, join the BJP and he'll be made the chief minister of Delhi. It's a bogus case. I will not buckle under Operation Lotus. The CBI denies these charges. The Congress votes for a new president after two decades have waited long a long time for this, says Sonia Gandhi, other parties should learn from us. Justice Chandratul is appointed the next Chief Justice to have a two-year tenure to take charge as the next Chief Justice on the 9th of November. And the Mumbai airport will close the runway on Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. for post-monsoon preventive maintenance of the runway intersection. The Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport tweets. And a horrific BMW crash live streamed on Facebook. Four men killed on the Purvanchal Expressway as they drove their car at 230 kilometers per hour while filming it. A passenger warns Marenge. The car smashes onto a truck coming in the wrong way because of a road uh, repairing. The Home Ministry approved the early release of the 11 men convicted for the gang rape of Bilkis Banu during the 2002 Gujarat riots. The Gujarat government told the Supreme Court on Monday. In an affidavit filed in the top court, the Gujarat government said that it was the Union Ministry had approved the premature release through a letter dated the 11th of July. The 11 men convicted for the gang rape of Bilkis Banu during the 2002 Gujarat riots were released. As the authority says, their behavior during the 14 years that they were in jail was good. That's what the Gujarat government told the Supreme Court on Monday. The court is hearing three petitions challenging the release of the men who walked free on Independence Day. Today, the Gujarat government told the Supreme Court that they had uh, they had the permission from seven competent authorities for the for the premature release of the 11 convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. Now, one of those seven authorities was uh, the Union Home Ministry in the government of India, and now NDTV has exclusively accessed the document dated 11th of July 2022 from written written by Sri Prakash, who is the Joint Secretary to the Government of India Home Ministry, to Sri Mayu Singh Wagela, who is the Under Secretary Home Department, Government of Gujarat. And this particular document, the letter, clearly says that the Home Ministry Government of India has, uh, in fact, approved and has absolutely no objection for the premature release of the following 11 prisoners who were the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. So, yes, the document has now been accessed by NDTV and exclusively, which clearly shows that one month, uh, just, uh, just one month before the release of those convicts, the government of India, Home Ministry government of India, gave clear instructions and uh, approved the release of those convicts in the Bilkis Banu case. And after a marathon nine hour questioning by the CBI in a liquor policy case, the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manisa Sodia claimed that he was pressurized to quit the Ahmadmi Party. The agency officials had apparently implied that he joined the BJP, which he says he flatly refused. Though in some relief to the ruling AAP party, which has been bracing for his arrest, the agency has not summoned Mr. Sodia for a second session. <laughs> साइड में मुझ पे दबाव बनाया गया कि आप आप छोड़ दो आप में क्यों हो मैंने कहा क्यों बोले ये केस आपके ऊपर ऐसे चलते रहेंगे नहीं तो मैंने कहा इस केस में तो है नहीं ये तो खत्म हो जाएंगे तो मुझे कहा गया कि साइड में कि सतेंद्र जैन के पास कौन से केस हैं सतेंद्र जैन के ऊपर कौन से सच्चे केस हैं वो भी चल रहे हैं 6 महीने वो जेल रह सकते हैं तो 6 महीने आप भी रह सकते हो तो मैंने कहा बीजेपी तो बहुत गंदी पार्टी है मैं उसके लिए आप थोड़ी छोड़ सकता हूं तो मुझे कहा गया कि नहीं नहीं देखो ये केस तो ऐसे चलते रहेंगे दूसरा फायदा आपको वो लोग मुख्यमंत्री भी बनाएंगे फिर 
तो मैंने कहा ये मुख्यमंत्री बनने के लिए थोड़ी आया हूँ मैं तो शिक्षा के लिए आया हूँ यहाँ राजनीति में हम आना नहीं चाह रहे थे हम तो शिक्षा के लिए आए हैं And the deputy chief minister is the prime accused in the case which involves an alleged kickback to political leaders by private players in exchange for liquor shop licenses. AAP on Monday declared that Mr. Sosodia would be arrested and what they are terming a political vendetta of the BJP. Uh, the party alleges that uh, the BJP is scared about the outcome of the assembly elections in Gujarat and wants to stop Mr. Sosodia from campaigning in the state. <laughs> Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia on his way to the CBI after summons, but not without rallying up workers and supporters. He is called for questioning in the alleged liquor policy scam. Today, Gujarat में भाजपा बुरी तरह से हार रही है, इसलिए घबरा के मेरे ऊपर फर्जी मुकदमे करा के जेल भेज रहे हैं आज. मैंने कहीं कुछ गड़बड़ नहीं किया. इन्होंने पूरा मेरा घर छान मारा. मेरे बैंक लॉकर छान मारे मेरे गांव में छान मारा इन्होंने मेरे आसपास सब छान मारा इनको मेरे भ्रष्टाचार का कोई सबूत नहीं मिला सोर्सेज इन द एजेंसी से सिसोदिया वाज क्वेश्चन ऑन एलिगेशंस दैट लिकर कंपनीज वर इन्वॉल्वड इन फ्रेमिंग दिल्ली लिकर पॉलिसी देयर वाज अ लॉस टू पब्लिक एक्सचेकर देयर वर इररेगुलरिटीज इन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन लाइक पोस्ट फैक्टो कैबिनेट क्लीयरेंस 6% कमीशन टू पब्लिक सर्वेंट्स जेल के ताले टूटेंगे मनीष सिसोदिया छूटेंगे इन द मीन वाइल कैंपेनिंग इन गुजरात अरविंद केजरीवाल रेज द पिच लिंकिंग द सी बी आई समन टू सिसोदिया एंड द बज अराउंड इज अरेस्ट टू दी अपकमिंग असेंबली पोल्स जैसे ही आठ तारीख को नतीजे आएंगे गुजरात में आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार बनेगी जेल के ताले टूटेंगे मनीष सिसोदिया छूटेंगे मैं मनीष जी को कहना चाहता हूं आप चिंता मत करो आपके ना आने से प्रचार बंद नहीं होने वाला ये सारी जनता प्रचार कर रही है घर घर जाके प्रचार कर रही है जब आपसे सवाल पूछताछ किया जाए तो आप जश्न मनाइए द बीजेपी डिनाइड द सीबीआई वाज ऑन अ पॉलिटिकल विच हंट एंड हिट आउट द आम आदमी पार्टी अलेजिंग करप्ट जिस प्रकार से मनीष सिसोदिया आज एक खुले कार में अपने समर्थकों के साथ नारे लगाते हुए फूल माला डाले हुए निकले हैं ऐसा लग रहा है मानो कोई किला फतेह करके वापस आ रहा है इट सीम्स एज इफ द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज वन द वर्ल्ड कप ऑफ करप्शन दिल्ली डिप्टी चीफ मिनिस्टर मनीष सिसोडिया वाज क्वेश्चन फॉर ओवर नाइन आर्स बाय सीबीआई इन द अलजेड लिकर पॉलिसी केस सोर्स से नो न्यू समन्स हैव बीन इश्यू टू मनीष सिसोडिया एंड फ्यूचर कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन विल बी डिसाइडेड आफ्टर एग्जामिनिंग हिस्स स्टेटमेंट्स With Priyanshi Sharma and camera person Pawan Kumar, this is Arvind Gunasekhar for NDTV. TV. Meanwhile, the CBI has put out a statement denying Manish Sisodia's uh, threat charge. His claims that he was asked to quit uh, the AAP. The CBI, in this statement, says it did not threaten Manish Sisodia during the probe. He was examined in connection with an excise policy case on the basis of charges in and uh, in the FIR and evidences. Meanwhile, Manish Sisodia will be going to Gujarat tomorrow. to campaign for the upcoming elections and some 9000 delegates including sonia gandhi rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi vadra voted to choose between malikarjuna kharge and shashi tharoor for the top post in the party as the congress the grand old party voted for a non gandhi chief for the first time in nearly 25 years and speaking to ndtv the veteran leader p chidambaram dismissed what he called the assumption that the gandhis would retain the remote control even after Congress presidential elections and Sonia Gandhi who has been at the helm for more than 20 years appeared elated. But despite the electoral process it's clear the Gandhi imprint will remain on whoever takes over as the new president. When it comes to who is our face for in the upcoming Lok Sabha election because that's the normally how the question is framed then definitely it's Rahul Gandhi ji. While Kharge is clearly the front runner it will be interesting to see how many votes Shashi Tharoor manages to get and if that's a signal to the grand old party for change Whether it is a clean sweep or not will be known only on 19 I told you whatever Udaipur declaration is there 
that I am going to implement one by one if I get chance. Whatever the outcome might be, I believe that every vote for me provides a signal, not just to the party, but to the country, that the Congress party is willing to change and is willing to do whatever is needed to reinvigorate ourselves and take on the divisive forces of the BJP. The next president will have his task cut out. Some leaders in the Congress have been demanding elections to the CWC. How much the next president will manage to be the change the Congress wants remains to be seen. Even as Sonia Gandhi still remains chairperson of the party's parliamentary board. But after the Congress president is elected, all eyes will be on Rajasthan, where frontrunner Ashok Gehloth dropped out of the Congress race even before it began and as his MLAs went in for a standoff with the Congress High Command over who should be the next Chief Minister, Ashok Gehlot, who voted in Rajasthan, has made it clear he is not giving in so easily. Do you feel that whoever the new president is going is uh, will be able to settle a sort of a leadership whoever, dispute in whoever Rajasthan. Whoever becomes a Congress president will have the fullest support of every single Congress worker in this mm. country. Sachin Pilot cast his vote in Delhi and clearly resolving the Rajasthan factional fight is the immediate task for the next Congress president. NDTV Bureau Report. And Justice D.Y. Chandachud will be the Chief Justice of India from the 9th of November. The Law Minister Kiran Rijuju announced uh, on Monday the Chief Justice U.U. Lalit, who is set to retire on the 8th, recommended Justice Chandachud as his successor. And while Justice Lalit has had a brief tenure of 74 days, Justice, Justice Chandachud will serve as the Chief Justice of India for two years. He will retire on the 10th of November 2024. He was elevated to the Supreme Court on the 13th of May. He is currently the senior most Supreme Court judge after Justice Lalit. And the West Bengal Chief Minister on Monday said that Saurabh Ganguly, who has been replaced as the Indian Cricket Board chair Chairman, had been uh, unfairly left out and deprived. And she appealed to Prime Minister Modi to send him to the ICC, that's the International Cricket Council. The leader of the opposition, Suvendu Adhikari, reacted to this, saying that Mamata Banerjee should know that the Prime Minister does not intervene in cricket administration. A day ahead of the BCCI annual general meeting comes Mamata Banerjee's appeal for Saurav Ganguly. My humble regards to the Prime Minister. Please take care that Saurav must be allowed to contest the ICC election. He has been deprived. Why he has been deprived? What is his fault? The West Bengal Chief Minister on Monday expressed her shock at Saurav Ganguly not getting renominated for the post of BCCI President, but Jay Shah being allowed a second term as Secretary. The DMC had earlier registered a strong protest against Ganguly's removal. They had alleged that the former India skipper was paying the price for saying no to joining the BJP. Meanwhile, Bengal's leader of opposition and BJP leader Shubhendu Adhikari countered the attack by Mamata Banerjee. ममता जी पहले सोरम गांगुली को बंगाल का प्राइम एम्बेसडर डिक्लेयर कीजिए शाहरुख खान कहाँ गई बंगाल का प्राइम एम्बेसडर कौन है शाहरुख खान क्यों गई वहाँ सोरम गांगुली को होना चाहिए पहले करने बोलिए पॉलिटिक्स ज़्यादा मार करने बोलिए हमारे हिंदुस्तान की क्रिकेट की दुनिया में एक बड़ा सितारे के नाम होते हैं सोर उनको पद से हटाए गए उनको गरिमा को खत्म किए गए और उनसे बदसलूकी करते हुए ये घोर अन्याय किए गए हैं पॉलिटिकल पापलेज हैव ऑलवेज बीन विटनेस्ड इन बीसीसीआई इट हैज बीन वाइडली रिपोर्टेड दैट अमित शाह मेट द बीसीसीआई टॉप ब्रास इंक्लूडिंग गांगुली ऑन 6 अक्टूबर एट हिज हाउस इन न्यू दिल्ली ड्यूरिंग व्हिच गांगुलीज एग्जिट रूट वाज चार्टेड so is Mamata Banerjee responding to the BJP's influence on the BCCI? Her requests, however, are unlikely to be heard. But with Saurav Ganguly, the king of comebacks, announcing that he will contest the election for the president of the Cricket Association of Bengal, he still has his chance to get back into cricket administration.
with Rika Roy in New Delhi and camera person Anurudha Tripathi in Kolkata. Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. And Prime Minister Modi on Monday launched a new scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Urvarak Pariyojana, One Nation, One Fertilizer, under which it is mandatory for companies to market all subsidized fertilizers under the single brand Bharat. अब देश में यूरिया भारत ब्रांड से ही मिलेगी जब पूरे देश में फर्टिलाइजर का ब्रांड एक ही होगा तो कंपनी के नाम पर फर्टिलाइजर को लेकर होने वाली मारामारी भी खत्म हो जाएगी इससे फर्टिलाइजर की कीमत भी कम होगी and in a setback to the BJP, the Congress dominated the results of the elections of the post of Panchayat Samiti chairpersons and deputy chairpersons in Maharashtra's Nagpur. The BJP didn't win a single post of chairperson. It won only three seats of deputy chairperson. Nagpur is the home ground of the Maharashtra BJP chief, the deputy chief minister Devinder Fadnavis and the union minister Nitin Gadkari. It's also uh, houses the headquarters of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh or the RSS, the ideological mentor of the BJP, which is in power in the state and the centre. The Congress won nine out of 13 posts of chairperson and eight out of 13 posts of deputy chairperson in Nagpur. The uh, NCP won three posts of chairperson, while the Shiv Sena won one such post. And a horrific live video from inside a car being driven at 230 kilometers per hour on Uttar Pradesh's Purvanchal Expressway right before a fatal crash has gone viral on social media. And the video tragically also features a prophetic comment from one of the victims who says, Chalo Marenge, saying that all four of uh, those in the car will die. All this while live streaming the speedometer of this luxury car that was on its way from Sultanpur to Delhi. This live video from inside a speeding BMW car clocking 230 kilometers per hour on Uttar Pradesh's Purvanchal Expressway right before a fatal crash last Friday has gone viral on social media. One of the victims can be heard in the video egging on the driver to clock 300 kilometers per hour. The video, streamed live on social media by one of the victims, also features a prophetic comment from one of the occupants, who said, Charo Marenge, or all four of us will die. Four people from Bihar were killed in the horrific car crash in the Sultanpur district. The BMW car rammed head-on into a container truck coming from the opposite direction, but in the same lane. The truck was in the wrong lane because of a route diversion for road repairs. Let's just go in for a short break, but we have more news coming up on the other side. The international news now and in just six short weeks and Britain's latest Prime Minister seems to be on her way out on Monday. In another U-turn, Liz Truss reversed a mini-budget announced just weeks ago. Liz Truss now seems to, seems to be under pressure as three Tory MPs have publicly called for her to quit. So are the Tories finally ready for Rishi Sunak? Vishnu Som reports. So let's bring up those graphics where we can actually show you the trends of this wildly swinging up and down chances of him becoming UK Prime Minister. He is now back on top. Who knows, will, he ha will the United Kingdom have a Prime Minister of Indian origin? Let's start with March 2000. He was favourite to be Prime Minister after Boris Johnson. By April, that started plummeting with his wife's tax issues and allegations that he had a green card for the US. But with Boris Johnson's increasingly seen to be in trouble and following Mr. Johnson's resignation, 
Rishi Sunak's chances improved. But while many vouch for the highly educated and skilled Chancellor of the Exchequer, grassroots voters of the party, his party had a problem. And his fortunes appeared to be wavering by September. In fact, by the end of September last month, there appeared to be no chance of him becoming Prime Minister. But we are now in October. And it's clear that Liz Truss's term has been an out-and-out disaster. And Rishi Sunak appears to be back in the driving seat. Some say the hot favourite to become UK's Prime Minister.